Uh, many of you might have heard that the show Roseanne was canceled um, yesterday. Um, I'm going to read um, this news report from CNN Media. It says Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel her show. ABC Entertainment President Shannon Dungey said in a statement, Disney CEO Bob Eager added on Twitter that there was only one thing to do here, and that was the right thing. The cancellation stunned Hollywood. Industries veterans said they've never seen anything quite like it. The revival of Roseanne premiered to a huge ratings just three months ago. Production was already underway on a second season, which was scheduled for Tuesday at 8. But now the show is over. ABC was planning to air a repeat of Roseanne Tuesday night, but a rerun of The Middle will air in its place. Barr's talent agency, ICM Partners, also dropped her on Tuesday. And, quote, what she wrote is antithetical to our core values, both as individuals and as an agency, the agency said in a statement. Consequently, we have notified her that we will not represent her effective immediately. Roseanne Barr is no longer a client. On Tuesday, Roseanne Barr tweeted an apology to the show's cast and crew. Don't feel sorry for me, guys. I just want to apologize to the hundreds of people and wonderful writers, all liberal and talented actors who lost their job on my show due to my stupid tweet. Barr also said that she would appear on comedian Joe Rogan's podcast on Friday. Don't feel sorry for me. Yeah, well, well this was typed twice. I'm sorry. Uh, Barr has a long history of controversial tweets, including posts about pro-Trump conspiracy theories, but even by her low standards, Tuesday remarks were egregious. And these are some of the tweets by ABC. He says, beyond the pale is how one Disney source put it. In a series of tweets, Barr attacked Valerie Jarrett, Chelsea Clinton, and George Sowell. ABC went silent for several hours as it dis decided what to do. While it took some time to announce the decision, executive pretty quickly decided to boot the reboot. When asked why ABC ultimately decided to cancel the show, a Disney source said it's a question of right and wrong, and it's a question of our company's values. Reactions to the decision were overwhelming and largely po positive. Congressman John Lewis thanked ABC, saying that there is not any room in our society for racism and bigotry. And Valerie Jarrett said on Van Jones' show, well, this is Van Jones. He says, some things apparently are more important than money, even for a network like ABC, and that's disheartening. That's what uh, Van Jones said. But there will be ripple effects from the cancellations. At least 200 jobs will be effective, according to the industry sources. Before ABC pulled the plug, some of Barr's colleagues have publicly rebuked her. Actress Emma Kenny, who played Roseanne's granddaughter on a reboot, tweeted that she was in the process of quitting the show when she found out that the show had been canceled. About an, half, an hour and a half before the cancellation was announced, one of the show's consulting producers, Wanda Sykes, said she was done with it. Just tweeting, I will not be returning to Roseanne. And Sarah Gilbert, who plays Barr's daughter on the ABC sitcom, tweeted that Barr's comments are abhorrent and do not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show. And Gilbert added, this is an incredibly sad and difficult for all of us as we've created the show that we believe in and are proud of and that audiences love. One that is separate and apart from the opinions and words of one cast member. So this was what Roseanne Barr said on her um, Twitter. And one of the tweets, she said, Muslims brotherhood and planet of the apes had a baby equals valerie jarrett bar was responded to a comment about valerie jarrett a top former aide to president obama she claimed she was joking but then she deleted the tweet and issued apology to jarrett 
I am truly sorry for making a bad joke about her politics and her looks, Bartuda. I should have known better. Forgive me, my joke was in bad taste. Chelsea Searles Clinton. And, and this was um what um Roseanne Barr tweeted at um eleven fifty four PM May twenty eighth before the main twenty ninth tweet and Chelsea responded in this Good morning Roseanne my given middle name is Victoria. I imagine George Searles' nephews are lovely people. I'm just not married to one. Barr responded back by saying sorry to have tweeted incorrect info about you. Please forgive me. Now, let me go on. Let me go on to say this. Roseanne is sorry that she got caught. Roseanne ain't sorry about nothing. Roseanne is who Roseanne is. Roseanne is a racist. Roseanne is a bigot. But you see, see these people, and this is how what it is. A lot of these folks, their racist and racism and bigotry is more important than their money. A lot of people don't care about a, a job. They don't care about food. But they only care about their racist and bigotry race. And this is what Roseanne is. Now, I'm not surprised she was like this because she's had some issues in the past. But ABC took a chance on her. I don't think ABC should have taken a chance on her to begin with. But ABC, yeah, they did the right thing. They canceled the show. Okay? Because if ABC didn't cancel the show... You know what people are going to do. You know ABC would have gotten boycotted by a lot of people. And see, ABC didn't want that. So they said, you know what? We got to protect our bottom line. We got to let you go. Because we're not going to affect our dollar. And this is what we have to do as a whole. Instead of sitting there complaining about racism all the time, complaining about what white folks are doing to us, we have to sit there and say, you know what? If people disrespect us, if people, you know, say ignorant things, racist things, then guess what? We got to take their money away. We got to go somewhere else. That's what you that's what you have to do. Now, ABC apologized. ABC, you know, they did the right thing. Channing Dungey was the the president she's black she did the right thing Wanda Sykes left the show I don't even know why Wanda Sykes was on the show in the first place but to me it's just you know I'm not surprised at it because Roseanne had her ways and now you know this was the straw that broke the camel's back and I just don't understand for, for some white people for some white people why do you hate black people so bad why do you we've done nothing to you we we haven't said anything to you we don't go out there we don't kill you just for killing you but at the end of the day you going out here saying that you don't like us you calling us apes calling us niggers calling us every every nasty vile word in the book so I don't understand why you hate somebody. Look, I can understand if you don't like my personality. I don't. I can understand if you don't like the way I talk or the way I act. I get that. But to sit here and not like me because the color of my skin, that's stupid. And to think you're better than me because you have pale skin? No. Uh-uh. So now you cause over 200 people, cast members, their jobs because you decided that you only cared about your racism and you didn't care about nobody else. You did not care 
about the well-being of all your cast members, of all the employees that will be affected. You didn't. So now you cause everybody their job because you decided to make a stupid tweet and then it came out later this morning that you blamed Ambien. Come on. That 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 that's the most ridiculous weak excuse I've ever heard. Come on, Roseanne. Come on. This one thing if you are racist like that, but at the, but you see and social media is exposing a lot of people. It is exposing a lot of people. I just tell, you know, if you have racist beliefs or bigoted beliefs, keep them to yourself. Just keep it to yourself. Don't go around, don't go exposing yourselves and then costing other, others their jobs because you're selfish in your beliefs. You could have kept that to yourself. Some people just don't know how to keep things to themselves. And that's the problem. Just be quiet. That's all you got to do. Just be quiet. But some people just can't help themselves. So Roseanne, the show was canceled. I never watched Roseanne anyway, even when it was on back in the 80s and 90s late 80s early and all the way to the late 90s I never I, I mean I've watched a few episodes but I didn't you know watch it a whole lot was never into something that was never really cared about that show but you know tell me what you think of it tell me was this the right move by ABC tell me what your opinions for more videos subscribe to this channel